Ladies and gentlemen, Zen6 is here, or at the very least, engineering samples are now being distributed to key AMD partners. And this is where things start to become a lot more intriguing, because quite frankly, the more people who have access to Zen6, obviously the more details are going to start to leak online. And yeah, the next generation known as Olympic Ridge for the Ryzen series, Ryzen 10,000, I'm assuming it will be called, uh, actually seems particularly interesting. Um, it seems that yes, there is further confirmation of an increased core count, but the newest rumors also show that there will be fundamental shifts to the overall design of the chips, including dual memory controllers. And we're going to be getting into all of this, plus some more stuff after this quick message from the sponsor of the video. If you're running a copy of Windows 10, which is an activated, of course, not only do you have to worry about the missing customization options, but there's also that annoying Windows desktop watermark reminding you to activate. Today's video is sponsored by whokeys.com, and they have an excellent price on Windows 10 Professional as well as Home Keys. Yeah, and they also, of course, sell games. I've bought a few Windows 10 keys with my own personal account to test everything was legit and worked in preparation for this sponsored video. You can pick up one of their keys for 25% off using the coupon code RGT in the checkout. There's links to their website in the video description. Also, if you're building a few systems, there's bundles available too. Again, you can check out whokeys.com and use the coupon code RGT for 25% off the listed Windows 10 key prices. So as we've established, my eyesight sucks, so of course I will put on my glasses. I'll also just quickly note that uh, this is also an article. So the website has recently been, uh, well, it's basically seen an overhaul. So I have left a link to this in the video description. So if you do want to check out a written version of this, then of course you can be free to do so. With that said, um, the creator of the Hydra tuning software, also known as Yuri, uh, has basically been plonking some stuff on Discord. Now, there are a couple of key details here. Engineering samples are being distributed, he says. This won't be a revolution, but an evolution. Now, most likely, he's talking about the core design itself. Zen 5 was a pretty big shift in the overall design, but from what the rumors are anyway, Zen 6, yes, of course, it's going to have an increase in IPC and all of the other general stuff that you would expect. But it does seem that AMD's focus for Zen 6 is going to be on a couple of things. One, an increase in clock frequency. Two, an increase in the core count. Again, the rumor is that per CCD, we're going to see the increase by 50%. So that's eight cores to 12 cores. And also some significant changes in the IOD and basically the, well, let's just say the interconnects are going to see some significant improvements. So we should see lower latencies and that would be, let's say, sending data from uh, CCD1 to CCD2 and also uh, just increasing bandwidth and stuff like that as well. He also adds that there will be more cores per CCD, and instead of a single memory controller, there will be two. Details are still scarce. Now, I have asked some people about this, and quite frankly, no one has an actual clue about this. Whether it's going to be one memory controller per CCD, or whether one memory controller is going to handle one uh, memory channel so for example it does seem that there are still going to only be two memory channels so it's going to be dual channel exactly like let's say the Ryzen 9000 series or what have you it's not quite known the only thing that I can say is that a few people have told me something about backwards compatibility with current existing AM5 boards may be an issue in some cases but again one we are dealing with processors which aren't exactly ready for release today so maybe AMD can iron out this backwards compatibility problem and two how many boards is it going to affect maybe it's just going to be the cheaper variants which don't hit specific criteria honestly it's very difficult to know Memory channels, as I just said, will remain at two. There's no new boost technologies which are expected. Curve optimizer remains unchanged and Hydra support, which just to be clear is his own, own software, support won't be an issue. Now I have to be honest, I haven't used Hydra software myself, so you guys can let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are of that. Um, I do have a 9950X 3D that I've been doing some benchmarking on and there'll be a very interesting video actually hopefully dropped either tomorrow or the day after. Depending when you see this, there's a little bit of editing and also 
I, I won't lie to you guys, there was a little bit of scope creep, so I decided to test out some older titles. You'll see what I mean when you watch the video. It's actually quite cool, so do check it out. But, um, yeah, I've only really used uh, Ryzen Master and, uh, and the BIOS as well, so you'll have to let me know what his software is like. No shade to the guy, I just haven't tried it out yet. Now, the rumor is, of course, that IPC gains for the next generation of Ryzen will be around well 10 percent at this point it's very difficult to know because are we talking about gaming workloads are we talking about integer are we talking about floating point and also the really big problem is ipc gains typically start to become very confused when you're talking about servers versus desktops and yeah there's a lot of different questions i'm told that the final clock frequencies are still not locked in Several people have told me that they are expecting over 6 gigahertz. Moore's Law is dead is saying that he thinks it's going to be high 6 gigahertz. I'm personally being a little conservative at the moment. I was told, however, that a 1.1V, we're looking at around a 1.15X performance improvement, and that's just from the shift on, uh, from N4 to N2P. So I wouldn't be surprised if like 6.2, 6.3 gigahertz could be achieved. But again, <laughs> we'll just wait and see. Um, allegedly there are going to be additional metal layers on that production, but I can't get that solidified with a second source, so that's only from a single person. AMD are allegedly moving from Surdy's to Parallel Interface, which, as I mentioned earlier, is in an effort to reduce latency and increase bandwidth, especially chip-to-chip -chip and core-to-core. -core. It's going to be very interesting to see how all of this shapes up, to be honest with you guys, because... Obviously, the rumor is that AMD are going to not have a core count advantage over Nova Lake, as we've said several times at this point. The general consensus I've seen from people online, and also from what the speculation is from my own sources, is that basically AMD are going to have a single thread advantage, but Intel will have a multi-thread advantage. I still am not 100% confident on that. The reality is, I think that there's going to be a lot of questions regarding just latency and it's going to be very interesting also with the overhead since there are different types of cores on intel's chips we can make some speculative guesses how all of this stuff is going to play out but at the end of the day it is just a guess now the other key difference of course is intel will also be um plonking in a bunch of cash as well with blc so it's kind of in some ways like what amd are doing of course with their x3d chips with AMD, um, the rumor is that, of course, we're going to see an increase in L3 cache. So from 32 megabytes up to 48 megabytes for L3. But that's naturally simply because there's literally more cores. So, you know, more cache is needed to feed those cores, obviously. And speculatively, and there are rumors as well, Tom from More Saw is Dead is also saying this. A couple of my own sources have told me this might be happening. But again, it's, you know... At the end of the day, it's all rumors that the X3D cache is also going to see a similar increase, so potentially 96 megabytes. It's going to be very interesting, though, to see the next generation of processors. Honestly, guys, I think Zen 6 is going to be really, really, really good. Um, obviously, if you're just a gamer, and I don't mean that in, like, you know, a disrespectful way, is it going to make much of a difference? Like, let's just say going to, like more cores for the for zen 6 faster cores maybe i guess it depends on the rest of your setup i suspect however let's just be honest like a a 9800 x3d or even a 7800 x3d is probably going to be fine for quite some time i wouldn't actually be surprised if people who already have zen 5 decide to stick to it until zen 7 but obviously at the end of the day at this point it's very difficult to know exactly where things are going to lie personally i probably will upgrade because you know more cores and it's just fun but uh yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one take care of yourselves and uh bye for now